Hello everybody, my name is Ray. Welcome to the Evangelical Dark Web. Today we'll be talking about Ligon Duncan. Now he is the head, uh, the chancellor slash CEO of Reformed Theological Seminary. That's one of the uh, premier the, uh, seminaries of the Presbyterian Church of America. And about we will be talking about the woke comments he made. He went on the Gospel Coalition's As in Heaven podcast which is a podcast designed to promote the use of critical race theory in the church and i did a video on this back when the podcast uh, debuted its trailer and so now we'll be talking about what ligon duncan said on the podcast he had a lot of comments to make about interracial friendship so let's dive right in can you imagine the gospel impact if bible believing Protestants, Methodists, Baptists, Presbyterians had said of their Bible-believing Christian brothers and sisters in Baptist churches and elsewhere, you're, you're not going to kill our brothers and sisters in Christ. You're not going to defraud our brothers and sisters in Christ. You're not going to wrongfully imprison our brothers and sisters in Christ. You're not going to mistreat our brothers and sisters. Can you imagine the gospel impact uh, of that? Um, and, you know, it's going to take us 100 years to overcome the trust issues that have come out of that. You know, I, I, I tell people my very best black friends have trouble trusting me for really good reasons, because people like me um, have been doing awful things to them and to their families for four centuries. <laughs> you know, it's, it's going to take a while. Uh, before the trust issues that that exist between uh, otherwise good friends in Christ uh, are going to be addressed. We've got generational issues here. So for, for me, being able to work on the flag was just one small symbolic thing, one one little thing that we could do together. Why am I even talking to you? What? You're such a guy. You can't even begin to understand something this deep on any kind of real emotional level. Hey, Turk. Look, I'm really sorry about the whole poster thing. It was racially insensitive to me. I should have been more aware of your feelings before I went ahead and spoke for you. It's okay. Your intentions were good, and there's never been an issue of race between us. Since the day I met you, you've been nothing but a friend to me. I love you, man. <laughs> Hit me one. Keep it real. Yeah, we've got some things to work out, but we'll get there. Lincoln Duncan expressed a viewpoint that in... A friendship between a black man and a white man there can be no absence of racism this is certainly a view held by critical race theory uh, and you know I read this in uh, Robin D'Angelo's white fragility she believes that no interracial relationship can be free of racism doesn't matter if it's a marriage or a very strong friendship both are cursed with racism and you can't get it out of those friendships and relationships so that is the that is what uh, Professor Duncan is saying here, and that is wholly incorrect. That is wholly incompatible with the teachings of Christianity, and it needs to be called out. And if you, you know, maybe the reason why uh, black people don't seem to trust Ligon Duncan so much is because he is woke. So, and he's so quick to point out their skin color. So that's all I got to say about that. My name is Ray. This is the Evangelical Dark Web. If you like this content, do subscribe. And I also ask you to check out my website, Evangelical Dark Web. And I'll link that in the description below. Anyways, if you stuck around this long and disagree with what I said, do leave a comment in the section below. And I will catch you on the next one.